what's up YouTube? I'm the engineer and today we're going to be building rubber band muskets. For this project we'll need a 5 foot 2 by 4, a 2 by 6, any length, a half inch dowel rod, number 6 5 8 inch screws, and number 8 1 half inch screws. So this first cut I'm going to do is going to be cutting lengthwise down the barrel to give it the nice slim shape that it has. Now I've got to measure the barrel to 56 and a half inches and mark it. And now we cut it on the chop saw. Measure 46 inches back and mark it. And this is where we're going to drill our half inch hole. There's a little line we need to cut and it needs to be out halfway back on the firing pin hole. We're going to cut this out on the bandsaw. Now I'm going to take a chisel and a mallet and clean that cut up a little. Now we gotta cut a notch in the end of our barrel that's big enough for a rubber band to fit down into. And then we'll clean up the cuts with the file. Now we're gonna measure five and a half inches back from the end of the barrel and mark it. This will be so that the buckstock can be held in place to the rifle. If you are going to use the router table to put some nice bevel edges on it, make sure you stop before you get to this edge. I chose a more traditional stock, but really it's all up to personal preference. So for mine, I started about a foot in, and then from there I freehanded a design out. So now back at the bandsaw, we're going to start cutting it out. Now we're going to take it to the belt sander so it can smooth out all these edges so that we get a good bevel on it. Since I'm using flyhead screws, I'm going to countersink the holes a tiny bit. And so now all we got to add is the firing pin, the trigger, and the firing pin cover. Go on and cut off a four inch section of dowel rod. What you're going to do now is grab yourself some 150 grit sandpaper, your four inch dowel rod, and secure it into a hand drill. And then you can sand it off real good. Through there. Sand it down just enough so that it can fit into the firing pin hole. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cut it so it's just as high as the barrel is. I found some old hardboard lying around and it's the perfect material for the trigger because it's just flexible enough and it's pretty cheap. Now I'm going to mark it to the width of the rifle barrel so that I can get a good idea of what I need to cut. And now we're going to cut out an 8 inch section and a 5 inch section. Now it's not necessary, but you can shape your pieces so that they have a nicer look. And now we're going to mount our firing plate back a little bit behind the firing pin. And now you're going to mark four and a half inches and six inches back from the firing pin and you're going to be drilling your holes at these distances. Now we take a piece of paper and record it up five times. This will be the spring for your trigger. Now you have a fully functioning rubber band musket.
Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that like button. Also, tell us what you want to see in the next video.